Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make another version of dehydrated soy in the form of soy knots. This is something you can find in Asian supermarkets or stores or online, and it is such a delicious, chewy and meaty uh, texture and ingredient that you can use to top noodles, rice, vegetables, stir fries. It is unbelievably delicious. And it's another way to use what is known as yuba or tofu skin. Let's get into it. So what I have here are my soy knots and it is really just the yuba or tofu skin, also known as bean curd, uh, cut into strips and tied and then dehydrated. So we're gonna start off by, of course, rehydrating, as we always do. So I've got some boiling water, which is gonna speed up the process. You can do vegetable stock as well, or do what I'm gonna do, which is add a vegetable bouillon cube just to start infusing some flavor into the yuba. And just give that a stir. And you just have to let these rest for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes until they become rehydrated. One trick I always have for you when you have something that you want to soak and is floating up to the surface is to grab a deep dish or another bowl and place it on top to just keep those submerged, it just speeds up the process. Once they've rehydrated, what you have is this much more pliable knot and you just have to drain and add them to a bowl. I'm gonna grate some ginger and some garlic right into this bowl. Now I'm going to add three Asian sauces to our marinade here. And these, you can swap for anything else if you wanna introduce a different flavor profile. So what I like to do is just add some regular Japanese soy sauce. This is the type you would use to make sushi, or to eat sushi, for example. And also what is known as dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce is much more robust in flavor and it's going to add sort of a different level of just saltiness and color and just this amazing umami to this dish. I highly recommend, but if you cannot find it, you can just add a little bit more soy sauce. And of course, if you wanna keep this entire dish gluten-free, you wanna make sure to use tamari soy sauce and maybe use that as the only substitution for these two. The other one I'm using is some hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce is amazing, delicious, very sweet in flavor. This is gonna provide lots of that coating for these knots. You could also substitute a Korean style barbecue sauce or even regular barbecue sauce. And we're just gonna give this a good stir Make sure everything is coated, especially with the ginger and garlic. I'm gonna add just a little sprinkle of some sesame seeds because they're gonna be very sort of sticky and these are gonna stick to our knots. But most of my sesame I'm gonna add right before serving. I've brought my air fryer to air fry these babies. If you do not have an air fryer, remember what I always say, an air fryer is just a very small concentrated oven. You can always take an air fryer recipe and bake it or roast it in the oven. The only difference is it's gonna take longer time. Now I have one of these air fryers that doesn't use a basket, but uses trays. But if you have a basket type air fryer, exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to spread these out on my trays. And if you're doing this on, in your oven, just use a parchment lined baking sheet. We're going to be air frying or roasting at 375 Fahrenheit, which is about 190 Celsius. 
and we're just gonna let these go until they're crispy, but not so crispy that they're gonna be incredibly tough to chew. You have to find that balance and just cooking with Yuba will give you that practice. In the air fryer, it's anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes at this temperature. In the oven, it might take a little bit longer. You can serve these as a topping for your favorite noodles, stir fries, any kind of Asian dish you are enjoying at home. You can serve these as a snack, serve them at a party with a little bit of extra hoisin sauce for dipping, and you get to enjoy. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. That is meaty, chewy, sweet, and salty. Lots of umami. So good.